Hello everybody and in today's video I just had a bricks and pieces parcel arrive so I thought I'd uh, open it up and uh, show you what I got on camera and also I've got some other minifigure parts here to, to make some customs using other parts from this but first let's start off by um, showing you what I got but first with the bricks and pieces they're going to come in this nice like Lego branded bag with um, some writing different languages on it but yeah, so it just, no matter how much you order, no matter how like big or small, you'll always get one of these bags. I think they do vary in size depending on how much you ordered, but yeah, so let's take a look at what I got. Oh, some of the parts fell out a bit there. So, let's start. So let's just have a little look at it. Now this isn't that much, like this was about 15 pound I think, which it's quite nice considering most of them are like quite uh, specialised pieces. So let's start. So first up, I got this um, Sandman rock piece that uh, can attach on stuff like that. And this is a really nice piece actually, seeing it in person. I didn't think I'd like it, but the dual moulding between the light grey and the dark grey does really work. And you can um, put minifigures there, so it does look quite good. So. Next up, I guess I'll show you this piece now. I've got um, an extra Lloyd torso uh, from Ninjago City Gardens. And this is because the Misako, which comes in the Christmas set, um, actually um, does um, use this torso. So I thought I may as well um, get that to try and complete that figure. Next up, uh, I'll show off a complete figure. Well, other than the one part I've got in this uh, blue box I showed earlier. And this is a... Um, a two-headed legacy Garmadon, which uh, came in the um, the Kai 4 Plus Dragon. I just thought, well, I'm trying to get loads of Ninjago figures and this is one I didn't have. And you could order him in his entirety on bricks and pieces, so I thought, uh, why not? So there he can go. I did also, so um, I believe there should be some... Oh, oh, here it is. I did order a second one. I thought uh, it got left out there. I did order a second one for... Um, the Santa Garmadon figure, which I'll show you later. Okay, so now the, these are just uh, random parts I ordered. So I ordered four of these um, neck bracket pieces because these are pieces I do use quite a lot. I do, do like making customs with them. So I thought I'd get quite a few just so I can um, just so I can uh, just make custom figures. Now this hair piece it looked a bit different on like the website. Uh, but it's actually, I think it's rubber maybe, and it's a mullet hair piece, and I'm going to use this hair piece for a Winter Soldier custom. Now I think I thought I think I must have thought it was a different hair piece because I don't remember it being this long. But oh well, it's a cool hair piece. It still might work for my Winter Soldier custom. I'll just have to see. Okay. Next up is some Monkey Kid parts. I know I've done the unthinkable. I ordered. Um, these parts here to make a custom Hela from Thor Ragnarok because I really do like that character and I just thought um, she'd be a cool custom. And I do kind of think the torso works. I know there's no purple on her but I, I like to associate her with like a bit of green and purple so I just thought I think these are from the Spider Queen from Monkey Kid and this top headpiece is really cool though. Like the spider headpiece I just think it looks really good. So yeah. So the next, uh, I got two of these um, kind of Kendo Ninjago uh, training gear to put on minifigures. I, th I got two because if I'm going to use these in stop motions, I'm going to want uh, more than two of them. So, I mean, more than one of them. So I just thought I could get two of them, put them on a minifigure, and I could kind of just have them fighting each other. So yeah. next up, we've got the minifigure in Infinity Gauntlet, and then also the minifigure scale uh, nano gauntlet which is what lego uses i just thought these were quite nice they'd go well on a custom endgame iron man or an endgame pull custom thing like a minifigure so i just thought you know put them together they look quite nice they are pieces i've been wanting for a while now so i just thought it'd be cool to get next up we've got some uh, miscellaneous hair pieces so we've got um the superman hair piece and uh, like i don't know from what superman figure but it's from a superman figure I did actually forget I ordered this piece. I think this might be the new Black Panther hair piece, but uh, I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me on that. I've also gotten 
uh, a pre Ninjago coal hairpiece because um, custom Bully Maguire figure. I did actually have to take the coal hairpiece off to make another coal figure, so I just thought I'd get a, a replacement. I got the Lloyd hairpiece in green. Now, I believe this was from the Joker. Um, I just think it looks cool, and I thought maybe if like uh, uh, Spinjitzu vs. Lloyd took his mask off, this is the hairpiece he would have. I also ordered, um, I'm not sure whose hairpiece this is, but um, I just thought it was good for like a generic, like an old person maybe. It is a nice piece, I could maybe use it for a custom Crooks or someone maybe from Ninjago. So then, finally, the last two pieces I ordered were these really nice uh, dual molded legs uh, from a Monkey Kid set, which they are lovely legs. They've got um, dual molded legs and side leg printing, which is quite rare for a nin uh, Lego figure. I just wish they'd put this detail on Ninjago figures and not just Monkey Kid figures, but uh, oh well. So then, the final piece we have is this uh, kind of blaster piece. Now this is what Lego uses to give uh, Shuri, I believe that's how that name's pronounced from Black Panther, uh, to these like as her gun pieces, which I think is quite nice. I do actually really like uh, these pieces that uh, go over the top of minifigure hands, like give them extended fists. I think it's quite nice. I'll probably put this piece on my uh, mechanic figure because the one from the, um, the new Samurai Mech comes with this piece. So I thought I'd add it onto my old one to give, make it look a bit more robotic. So, now that my these bricks and pieces parts that I ordered have been uh, taken, let's have a look at um, the parts from my collection, which I've got just over to the side here. And I'm gonna make the figures. So I think I'll start off by completing this Garmadon so I can actually get like an official figure made completely. So all I needed to add from this figure was a bone piece, but I had loads of them, so I didn't think there was any point like uh, wasting money by getting a new one when I could just I have the real Lego one. So here he is, nice figure. Obviously I do prefer the two arm version, but now I have this one in my collection. So now I have four Garmadon figures, I believe. But not for long, because now I get uh, some plain red. Plain, plain, plain red legs, a Santa torso, a um, beard piece, uh, the other Garmadon head I ordered, a helmet, and this piece here, and I now have the Santa Garmadon figure from the, uh, uh, the Lego Ninjago uh, Christmas set. And, well, I'm probably never going to get that set, so I'm going to try and, like, order as most figures I can off Bricks and Pieces or Bricklink, maybe. So, yeah, now I have... I ordered two Garmadon figures with this haul, which I think... Well, they I probably didn't cost much. Like, the, like the head was about, uh, I believe... I can just check the, uh, like, uh, the receipt thing they gave me. Uh, here it is. Uh, the Garmadon heads... Two Garmadon heads with 46p in total, which I think quite good for like uh, like to make complete two figures so yeah next up we have um, let's go for the winter soldier because I'm not actually sure how that custom's gonna look anymore now I think I may have ordered the wrong hair piece but that's my fault that's not Lego's fault but I think it could still work I think the pictures are good so I've got these legs from uh, my old Hawkeye custom I've actually changed my Hawkeye custom quite a bit and then I've got this torso here from uh, Lego City um, police officer but it's turned backwards to give it a bit more of a blue look blue look i'll probably end up releasing um customs on um, the custom figures as youtube shorts just because why not and then and then we've got this hair piece with beard which i think is quite a bit like the winter soldier now for the hair piece um, i mean it kind of works i don't think this is the hair piece i was meant to order but I do quite like it. I do think it looks like uh, Bucky the Winter Soldier. So I'm just gonna go a bit, and I can always uh, maybe order the proper hairpiece, or even use um, this hairpiece like a Falcon the Winter Soldier Bucky. But yeah, I think it looks good. I'm gonna stick with it because I ordered it, and I might as well get my use out of it. So yeah, that is Bucky Barnes. So here's one of the main reasons I ordered one of these um, 
neck brackets and that's to make a custom iron spider which I've had planned to make for quite a while I've just not had enough of these neck bracket pieces to make one so we've got these legs here which are just plain blue with the hips from a Chima minifigure then the back of the torso from a fire, one of the fire Chima minifigures I'm finally getting used out of Chima I never thought I'd actually say that then when you attach this neck bracket on with the um, Spider-Man headpiece there you get um, all of these um, the arms, which I'm just using the way the Lego do their official arms. If you just uh, get all the arms built. So, very nice custom, I think. I think I chose a good torso for the Iron Spider just because I think it really does work. Um, so, yeah. So, if you just um, attach these figures at the not the figures, if you touch these arms at the back. I think it does look really good. And I think it's uh, quite accurate. Oh, I think I could have changed the head, but I really do like the way this Iron Spider looks and I'll definitely be making a YouTube short about this one. So next up, we're gonna have, uh, we'll do we'll do the Bully Maguire. I already shown off this figure in a YouTube short, but um, I did actually take away his hairpiece for a Cole minifigure, so. Just thought I'd get a hairpiece to remake it so he can do that iconic dance of his. So yeah, next figure we'll do another Ninjago one now. And this is Misako from uh, the Christmas set. Just I ordered these this head and hair from a different Bricks and Pieces order I made, which I didn't film. And I just thought, um, is I didn't think to order the Lloyd Torso because the Christmas set wasn't revealed at that point. But yeah, so now I have a Christ Christmas Masako. So now it's uh, two of the figures actually out of the Christmas set that I do have now in Lego form, which feels very good. I didn't think I'd actually get these figures. Uh, we'll do another one that I ordered a specialised piece for, and that is Sandman, which I could have just used some regular um, grey legs, but I just didn't think that would work as well as this. Then I've got this torso here from a Lego City Advent Calendar I got years ago. It's just a hood, uh, not a hoodie, a coat torso, but it's turned backwards. And I've also added a sand, a, not a sand, a tan arm to make it look like it's been sandized. Just use the face that the official Lego figure uses, and then also the hair which the official Lego figure uses. Now I do actually really like this custom. I do, I do think it works very well and. This moulded sand piece is very good. I did actually, when I originally thought it, think, bought it, sorry, oh not, not bought it, saw it. I thought it was a bit like this piece and how you could attach legs into it, but I mean, it wouldn't be that difficult to attach legs. You could just um, kind of like balance them on there, but I think it definitely works for a back piece for the sand bed. So, next uh, we'll do I'll do another one. I did just think of this recently. I did. Order, I was always going to order these legs because I think they just look so nice and the printing on them is just so detailed. I think they were quite expensive, but they're a really nice part, so I'll let them slide. And this is actually for a um, custom Kai, a casual Kai, because I don't have a casual Kai. So I just thought, use these legs, they're very detailed, nice printing. It'll work for a casual Kai figure. I can always like take them off and change them around. Okay. Final custom figure is the Hella. So I've already shown you these. I don't think there was actually that much purple on this figure, but I think it still kind of works. I can always change out the hands if I wanted to. I probably won't. And then I get this K piece. Now I do know in the film, Hella does have more of a like green color scheme. That's why I decided to sort of like this spidery thing. Got this hair piece from a Jurassic World guard. And then when you attach the spider thing on, I think it looks like Hello in my opinion. I think it's as good as I'm going to get for a purist custom. And I just think this headpiece does make it look just a lot more accurate. So yeah, I like this custom. If you don't, that doesn't matter. It's your opinion. Give me some ways that could improve it or the way you do your custom in the comments if you want. So yeah, then we've also just got these uh, spare parts here, which I've not really got. I might use a... Uh, this hairpiece on a custom Falcon, and then maybe this hairpiece on a Doctor Strange, maybe, but yeah, we're just gonna have to see. So, thanks for watching. Uh, make If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm currently filming episode two of um, 
my new stop motion season, uh, which is shifted. So uh, stay tuned for that if you enjoy it. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.